Hello everyone, Simus here, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolve. So today we are at the outpost, and I have made some modifications. Basically I did a gigantic expansion to our outpost in order to house our new Bronto, and also because I didn't really like the design of the other sides of it, so I basically just rebuilt most of it and add it a lot. Let's go ahead and take a quick little tour today. So in there. Still haven't fixed the stupid part where you have to crouch. These ladders are a little bit weird but I didn't feel like fixing them. It works and that's all I care about. So go up here. Unfortunately, we did have that problem with the walls not placing correctly because I did want to have them going a certain direction and snap points weren't cooperating. But here's our new and improved scout tower, basically. So it is now actually taller than our other animals and you can look across and see the other tower and the wild bronto in the background roaming around over there. So, I think it's a lot better. The design is okay. It does what I want it to do. That's all you can really ask for sometimes with this game. So that's that. The torches, um, I did have to fly up there myself to place them. I still need to put a ladder to actually access them outside of uh, flying. Come on. There we go. So that's a little bit glitchy because of the way that it placed. I'm not sure why it did that, but it did. I'm dealing with it somewhat. So anyway, then you go back down here. I should kind of um, condense all these ladders up on this tower, but to do that I would have to expand the outpost and move some stuff around. And I already did a fairly large rebuild on it. So then I did add some more railings, just so we're not running off the sides. And I moved where the doors were, so this one is still our supply depot. It still has superfluous pillars, basically. So then you can run down here, back behind the Bronto. Down into this other little thing. This is basically just a tower to get on and off said Bronto, so there's really nothing in here. I might put a box or something, but it's not really necessary, and I think it's okay the way it is. It does, like, this is mostly for looks, honestly. So then here's a little dock that you can use to get on and off the Bronto. And here we're going to fly a little bit just so I can show you guys because I didn't put any ladders up here yet. So that's the torches on this side. And then on this side I mirrored it but I made a, basically a bigger version of the design. Same torches. I actually just finished this so the torches don't have any spark powder and I don't have any ladders or anything. But I wanted it to kind of mirror and be similar in height so it's not like crazy uneven. I think I did a fairly good job. And again you can use this as a scout lookout tower kind of thing. Let's turn the lights up. So basically you can just see what's going on from either side because that's basically the this outpost is not getting any bigger than what it already is. This is going to be basically the final design because we really don't need very much else. And quick little cameo from Sassy, our eight peer, our Gigantopithecus who has been helping me build and expand along with Shadow the Mammoth who is also on the mainland. 
still haven't named the Bronto, but as you can see, we are now up to level 200. Uh, I did spend quite a bit of time the other day leveling. One of the first animals that we took on was an Alpha Carno. We did win, obviously, but it wiped out most of our HP. It took seriously all day just to regain that back, especially because I was still getting levels. But we are now up to 27 thousand HP. I did not level up Stam at all and I did level up melee so up to about 300 melee damage. Honestly I have no idea how much HP I would need to take on an Alpha Rex but she's pretty beasty so hopefully we won't need much more firepower than what we have. And the other thing while I'm over here that I want to show you is this weird looking thing over here is a little defense tower because I have noticed some raptors and things getting pretty close to the outpost on this side. And so I went ahead and built this thing and put up two plant X, one on either side. I only just put them up so they're not going to be active for a while, but hopefully we will be able to take care of any threats. I did, I thought about doing kind of a fence like what we have on the island. The problem with that is we need the Brontos to be able to get in and out. I know I said Brontos, we only have one. However, I do have some really good news. I was scouting around for Brontos while we were leveling the one that we have. And I have found a 120 male Bronto. So we have a perfect Bronto scouted out and ready to be tamed as soon as we have enough kibble for it. I need about six more eggs and we can go and tame it. Now this is the good thing about single player unless you use the destroy all dinos command. Uh, animals are persistent, they do not de despawn in single player. So it's not as big of an issue as it would be if you were playing on an actual server where animals do despawn and because basically things do go into stasis and then spawn and despawn to basically keep the servers from lagging. That's not really necessary in single player so things do go into stasis but they do not despawn to my knowledge. I mean because when I saw this Bronto over on the Western Peninsula, I had to come all the way back here, go across to the island, get supplies, come back, and then uh, run Chef all the way over there, and she did not despawn, so obviously that's not a thing on single player, which is fantastic for me, because I did not expect to find a 120 that fast. I hadn't even farmed that area, because what... I was doing was I was using this Bronto to kill all the other Brontos. I know that's a little um, not very nice, but we did need to clear the spawns out to try to get respawns. So I don't know if I just missed it on my initial scouting journey or if it just happened to spawn in afterwards. But either way, we do have a second Bronto waiting for us. I have re repaired my bows, so I have both crossbows. Actually, I have three crossbows. I don't know where I got the other one from, but it's on the island. So basically, we are in excellent shape to um, see, figure another episode for taming our new Bronto. I will need to make another saddle for it, but after that, we are basically done taming for this playthrough. They did update the patch notes. There is a new patch next week. The new animals will be the dire bear and the manta, neither of which we will be taming because neither of them are herbivores. And presumably by then we'll be about done with this anyway. So I figure an episode of that, I will have to level the new Bronto and we will start scouting for an Alpha Rex. Now, I'm not sure how long that's going to take. This entire playthrough, I haven't seen a single Alpha Rex yet. We've seen the Raptors, we've seen the Carnos. Well, I've seen the Carno. I did that one off camera. 
I have not yet seen a Rex, so I'm going to have to do some fairly extensive scouting to find one. Uh, we may end up having to kind of force spawn one by just going around and killing all the Rexes we can find. Which is not actually a bad thing, since we're going to need to get some levels anyways on both Brontos. 200 is a good level. We still have many, many, many levels that we can get. So hopefully... I'd say within the next week or so, we're probably going to be wrapping this season up, which is really good. I think uh, we've been doing a good job so far. It's been very successful overall. I mean, we've tamed a lot of animals. A lot has happened. We've lost a lot of animals, but um, we've made good progress. And I think I don't want this to drag on too, too long, so I think... It'll be good to uh, just get this one in the books, because I think we've seen quite a lot of basically what I wanted to see, which would be, was basically the balance of herbivores if you only tame them. And it's safe to say it is very doable. I'm not sure I would want to do this long term, but for just one single playthrough, um, it has been a lot of fun, so. But unfortunately, the problem we're encountering now with this playthrough as it is, is that um, most of the time I'm spending in game right now is all set up for future episodes. I actually wasn't really planning on doing an episode today simply because I don't have a lot to do that's active. It's all, you know, sitting, waiting for turtle eggs, and then I just did all this building. I could have done this part on camera, but I didn't have any designs pre-planned. I just kind of came up with it as I went. So I was farming and crafting. I didn't just have materials pre-built this time around. So, as much as I wish I could have shown this on camera, it would have taken way too long, because I've been at this pretty much since this morning, so it's been three or four hours of just between sitting at the turtles and just kind of messing around. I've actually, I actually did the tower over there once. I didn't like it. I ended up tearing it down and building it again, so I've actually rebuilt that one twice. So, there's a lot of building that you haven't seen that's basically essentially wasted time and materials because I wasn't sure what to do. That's why I do try to plan my builds out ahead of time. Hello, do, do. Just to kind of minimize that. But I think we are coming towards the end. We're not really going to do a lot of building. I know I said I had wanted to do like that big port thing. But we really just... Uh, I don't need to spend the extra time doing it while waiting for eggs or anything like that. And I really don't want this run to go on any longer than it has to, more or less. So we're just going to focus on securing basically what you would call a win condition. So we have one win condition number one, which is our first Bronto. Number two will be our second Bronto. I haven't decided if any other animals will be participating in the battle. I might take some of our tougher, higher level animals like um, Sago, our Stego, and our Triceratops, and Shadow. Hello. Great. Are you stuck? I want to see what's in it. There we go. It's just being weird. Okay. Water skin, spark powder, sleeping bag, campfire. Oh, let's just take all of it, whatever. Now, I thought about doing a platform saddle on the other Bronto. I don't think I will. Because I don't want to use turrets or plant X against the Alpha Rex. I had already pretty much decided I wasn't going to do that. Because that kind of defeats the point of doing this. 
Like if I tame a whole bunch of herbivores and then I just sit there and kite it and kill it with a bunch of plant X, that's really, really cheap and it also basically, you know, it's a waste of time to have even gone through all of this in the first place if I'm not actually going to do it the way that I said that I would. So we are going to do it completely 100% with our teams, there will be no extra equipment or anything or any advantage we're going to have over this Rex. The only advantage we're going to have is that there's more of us and we're bigger. Basically. That's what it comes down to. So that's what we're looking forward to and... I think that looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Oops. A little too far that way. So that's basically all that I've been doing is building and looking for eggs. And basically we're just biding our time until we get those eggs. Then we can tame the Bronto and find the Alpha Rex and then we'll basically be done. So I think that's pretty cool. Um... It's actually not taking as long as I thought that it would. I mean, it hasn't, it hasn't. We've lost a lot of animals and that was a lot, and we had some setbacks. But overall, um, as far as the time constraints go, I think that we've done a pretty good job of um, not dragging it out too, too much. I know I've posted some really long taming videos, that's mostly because one of the things that annoys me the most in videos is that when people are playing ARK and doing videos, they don't actually show the gameplay, they just skip through everything because it takes forever to do stuff. But if you're checking out these videos trying to decide if you want to play the game or not, that's definitely a serious thing to keep in mind, is just how grindy this game is and it's a huge time investment. But you don't really see that from videos with these servers on like times 10 or 20 everything and skipping around to the end of tame. So that's why I've been doing full length time, tame videos. And you've seen like even with the Rhino and stuff, it's not always just sit there and stare at it. You do, depending on where you're taming, you do have to kind of keep an eye on things and just... You know, it's arc. It's not like no matter what you're doing, you have to kind of be paying attention because things do happen. They can and they do. It's something to keep in mind. So if you if people are skipping around, especially on tame videos, you'll think it was easy when it's like with the rhino fighting off hordes of wolves, like every. 10 minutes or so, you don't, if you don't see that on a video, you won't know to expect it, but that's also something kind of more northerly. I kind of want to tame these dodos, even though we already have them, just because they're here. I was thinking about putting plant X up on this side, doing another of those little towers, but I think we're okay on this side. It's really only been from this direction that I've seen anything drifting a little bit too close to the outpost. Not that I'm especially concerned about things getting in and around our outpost. I mean, Chef alone can probably take just about anything outside of an Alpha. Solo, he can probably take Alpha Raptors for sure. But with help from our Bronto here, um, there's basically nothing here that can touch us. Getting one big animal, regardless of whether it's an herbivore or a carnivore, is basically how you win Ark. So you get a Bronto, a Spino, a T-Rex, a Giga, or a Quetz, and you've basically won. Unless you're on PvP, uh, I can't really speak for that. I have been playing Survival of the Fittest, and I will tell you that having a big team is definitely not always a win condition. 
it does up your chances considerably, but depending on who you're playing against, it's not a guarantee. There we go, load that up. Oop, need that. Gotta feed our plant X. So that's basically what's going on. Um, unfortunately, I don't have too, too much to show you guys. If I do get enough eggs today, I have been basically sitting AFK in front of my turtles for a couple of hours in between building, like when I'm taking breaks to eat or whatever. And I've only gotten a few more eggs. We're still six short. And I like to have a couple of extras, so I need between um, eight to ten more eggs in total. And without an overraptor, it does take forever. But if I do get enough eggs, expect to see another Bronto taming video today. Otherwise, it will probably be up tomorrow, assuming RNG actually cooperates, which it may not. But that's all that I have for you guys today. Um, if you checked out my Spino hunting guide and um, you found it helpful and you'd like me to do videos on anything else you might be having issues with, maybe taming a certain animal or um, if you're having any other sort of issues with things, feel free to drop me a line in the comments and um, if I get, if I can figure out a good way to do it on a video, I would be happy to help you out with figuring stuff like that out. Because I know, especially in the beginning, it's hard to kind of figure out how to do all these things. Because, you know, I've got a ridiculous amount of time in this game, so even though I'm running this as a challenge, um, it's basically going to be a lot easier for me from having so much experience. So, like, I really wouldn't expect someone to start this game from scratch, try to do something like a challenge run like what I'm doing, and be able to, say, tame a Parasaur or a Brontor or a Mammoth right off the bat. Because it's not an easy game. It took me quite a while to really get comfortable with everything and basically get enough experience to basically know my limits and also know the limits of the animals in the game and the environment. It does take a lot of practice, so um, if you're having trouble with things, feel free to ask. I'm always happy to share my knowledge. But other than that, that's really all I have for you guys today. Um, I'm sorry I wasn't able to show anything more exciting than some more building, but that's where we're at right now, and that's why we haven't been doing too much with it. Because we're basically in the end game, and there's just not a lot more to be done. So, anyways, thank you for joining me, and I will see you all in the next episode.